All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, nobody's hung over from yesterday's election because guess what? It doesn't look like it's over, but uh, we are getting a little bit of a rally in the market. We can see the Dow futures are doing pretty well. I think there is one election that obviously is clear is that the Republicans will own, own the, uh, the Senate. So there won't be a majority. So I think the market likes that, um, you know, regarding about that. So I think that was one of the big things. So I think we're going to get some crazy volatility in the next several days. I mean, Pennsylvania is not going to be coming up with their results until Friday, looks like. Um, and I don't even think that even even matters. Uh, there's the other states that are uh, big concerns, Wisconsin and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, Michigan. But but other than this, so we got we have a lot of stuff that's going to probably make the market go up and down. But one thing I do want to point out, I mean, I know there was a big. Uh, referendum that was being uh, offered in California, I think it was Prop 230, that had a lot to do with Lyft and uh, Uber. And you know what? They were doing great. I mean, you can see these stocks have really, really rallied lately in uh, in the market. So um, they've been picking up from yesterday, from a couple of days. Looks like they were leading the way. And you can see that they're doing pretty good. So guess what? They are on the watch list this morning. Now, uh, but before we get through the watch list, uh, like I said, it looks like the election is not over. So we're going to have some great volatility that's going to be kicking in for a while. I really thought one thing I was pretty cool yesterday uh, that I saw, I don't know if you guys were watching it, but the betting line was just so interesting to see how all of a sudden it was like Biden was winning, uh, was, was winning up forever. And then all of a sudden Trump was not going to win. And all of a sudden it just like around 12 o'clock, it just went zigzag. And then it was minus 800. I don't know if you guys follow betting lines, but uh, I, you know, let me tell you something. There's a lot of money that's on the line when it comes to bets. And I, and I think they really have an inside scoop because they have so much money. Uh, betting is a huge, huge business. So um, there's a lot of money uh, that, that's out there, people that, that, are, that are gambling on it. And you know what? Guess what? We're no different as traders. We're no different as traders. I mean, listen, we're trading the stock market and we're betting on one you know, candidate versus the other that's going to affect certain certain stocks. So, you know, but unfortunately, we're not I don't think we're there yet. But we do know that it looks like the Republicans will uh, retain the House, uh, will re retain the uh, the Senate. So you won't have, you know, a three, three, uh, a three party owning of all each party of, of certain institutions of government. So let's go look about what's moving this morning. And uh, let's look at some stocks. It was a prop 22, right? Is that what it was, Norman? What did I say? Prop 30? I don't know. I'm not from California, but I'm, I'm I'm just seeing and just what I'm seeing on TV and I'm seeing how these stocks are reacting. But listen, they are doing pretty well. But anyway, let's look at some of the stocks that we did trade yesterday. I personally don't think yesterday was a good day at all. Um, there was a couple of stocks that made some last minute moves. But to me personally, I didn't really want to do anything. I, 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 I honestly, I kind of broke even yesterday. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I lost a little money yesterday uh, because this one stupid stock that I jumped into and I had a lot of shares of it and it kind of reversed on me. And, and then I was like trickling away. The problem is that when you when when you're down big, you know, and you, you well, I wasn't big, but you and you gotta like chip away. And every every minute that goes by at the open, you make less and less and less. The volatility is not there as much. So that has obviously, you know, I had to chip away little by little. And then obviously, you know, we're done at 1030. So don't want to be doing anything more than that. But that um, but that one actually moved pretty well. We're going to talk about Neo. This thing is just an animal. Um, Neo is obviously doing great. The, all these electric stocks, are, are companies doing great. Uh, you know, I do want to bring up one stock. I give credit to the Chinese. huh? Leave it up to them. So remember JKS, we were talking about it. Nice solar stocks. This is a Biden stock, whatever it is. The news that came out on this stock was so bad. It was one of the reasons why the stock dropped from 90 to 60. Something that they would, you know, they had like slaves that were working in China, building these things, Muslims. I don't know, something. You got to look at the news. It was so bad and disgusting what they were doing in China about building these solar panels. It just literally just crushed the stock. But we've made a lot of money on it. You know what I mean? Made a lot of money on it. And that's why you got to be careful on the news. Some people take it very personal. And, you know, you could see what happened there. But uh, these stocks, uh, this JKS, I mean, it was bad. It was really, I mean, it was really disgusting what they basically what they were doing to some of these people making these solar panels. 
you know so anyway uh i just wanted to kind of bring it up because it just came across my radar i got we got out i think around like 78 i mean we didn't pack max out on it we did really well on it on the swing trade but you know when i found out the news i was like Ugh, i'm not interested anyway a couple of the stocks that did pretty well um we looked at li just look at that that stock is obviously doing great still that thing is back on the watch list it's following side by side by neo that one is also you can see it's up seven percent that one's doing good all these um battery stocks and everything plug you can see had a nice run yesterday um you can see they went from uh, 16 to almost like 17 that one did um did well and then blink bl uh b l n k that was another one that did really well too so all these charging stocks these battery stocks all that stuff were actually moving all right so let's talk about what's moving this morning actually and uh listen the market like i said it's up i mean we're getting looks like it's backing off a little bit but we'll see how when, when the thing the, the when the, the election of results start coming a little by little and i think we could see a dramatic volatility in the market but there were a couple of stocks that we did found this morning there was just one stock dr uh the drad that one moved pretty nice early in pre-market and all of a sudden she kind of backed off i don't know what happened with this stock but she was looking pretty good for us this morning and then all of a sudden she started i'm making lower lows i tell you i almost got suckered into buying that stock it was doing a triple top there's a big iceberg order that's been sitting there right above around 335 obviously he wasn't uh, he wasn't getting executed in the stock you can see it's trending down but it's gonna it's not gonna go on my a list it's gonna go on my b list another stock that i want to put on my list is the blrx so we're talking a little bit about that one about seven percent half million shares traded spread looks a little big right now i mean for 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 the price that it's at but she's got a little bit of a trend i mean listen if you look at the biggest percentage gainer list on the left hand side you're not seeing 50 70 200 500 percent um winners uh so far but you know with that said that's why you you know that's why i think it, things get a little cautious and i tell you i think a lot has to do with the election because a lot of these big companies that are going to uh, benefit depending on which president gets in there obviously has not uh affected it yet Oh, what happened to Ferrari? Race had a big run. I didn't see that. Yeah, Ferrari just literally gapped up big time right there. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty big right there for Ferrari. Race put that in the watch list. Holy crap! Looks like that looks like that could be a good swing trade. That was one of our big winners that we had at like uh, at sixty bucks. So, unfortunately, I sold it uh, at one sixty. My, I might consider looking at getting back into it. I want to keep an eye on that one. So we got Lyft, L-Y-F-T. Um, you know what Lyft, Lyft, you can see it. Look, it's starting to creep up nicely. You see that little, that little trend? You, you, you can see some buyers coming in. Just be careful. Lyft is a very fast-moving stock. This is not your Category 1 stock. I give this probably already in the 3 category, but it can get worse. I think Uber sometimes is not as volatile. Um, as bad as Lyft, but, but Lyft is obviously doing pretty well. Lyft, I mean, Lyft took a huge hit. Lyft, the biggest mistake Lyft made is they started, you know, I mean, Uber came at right after Lyft when it went public and Lyft started just way, way, way too high on their price. They, I think they went public around $78. You can see it, that thing got crushed and obviously Uber did not want to do that, even though Uber, I think was a bigger company than Lyft at the time, but, um, but uber is obviously catching up um it's been holding here pretty strong for a while it's got this big major resistance levels right around 42 let's see how that breaks out but that's a major major resistance levels right there li is one of the other stocks that which we were watching pretty closely in pre-market that's trading very similar with neo you can see neo it's just been an animal lately very fast moving stock by the way this is a very difficult stock to day trade um the stock just goes up goes down just be, if you are going to trade it cyber traders you know this very well if you've done your journals correctly i know josh did traders talk yesterday we talked a lot about going over some of your, your, your some of your some of the traders in the room regarding some of your trades just be very careful because this stock you know depending on how many shares you trade you can get it'll shake you out you'll, you'll lose a lot and then you're like damn it why they sell and runs up just don't trade too many shares of it stock is very very fast
Most stock uh, we traded a while ago that I want to keep an eye on. The stock uh, SAVA. We did pretty well with the stock a long time ago. You could see it went from two dollars up to about ten. It was a little bit of a you know short squeeze right there. Went right back to three. Went right back to ten. Gap down. This thing is just one hell of a roller coaster. She's got these major resistance levels right here going back in January and in, in June. So we'll keep an eye on that. But if it does break it, you could see it could test the highs right around 13. So we'll keep an eye on that. So uh, SAVA popped. Yeah, well, it didn't pop too much right now, Norman. But we will keep an eye on it and see it from there. But that's pretty much it. Not a big, big day, you know, the, the, the day after the election. And uh, we could see how that's obviously kind of reacting to the market other than some of these, you know, these these uh, referendums that came out with Lyft. And that's about it. But um, but we always find something new. So don't get too crazy in right now in pre-market. Let's let, let, let's hold off. Remember, the best trade is not to trade. OK, let let the stock come to you. We talked about that in the cyber group room. Try to get those limit orders. Try to stay away from those market orders, because when you do those market orders, you're going to end up losing, you know, the, the spread. And remember, and when we talk about that in class, in phase one, lesson one, remember, we talk about the three T's, tradable trend and trap. You break that first T. You don't look at the trade. You don't look at the trend. You don't look at the, the dumb indicator. But it's that first T that will change everything in that stock. And if you're not in, if you're not in that level, that category, stay away from it. All right. LI is tanking. Yeah, I see that grant is definitely taking it. That's what I'm saying. Let, let's set on the side and let's see what happens. See how things work out because it looks like the market obviously is kind of like reversing a little bit right here. All right. What lesson road we talk about traps. We talk about in my, in my lesson phase three. Okay. All right, cyber traders and everybody in YouTube, Facebook live and everybody uh, in the cyber group room and trial members. Don't forget tomorrow open house here Thursday here at cyber Trade university. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you all there. It's a perfect time because you an excuse not to trade. And if you do want to register, if you're online, just kind of click on the bottom and we'll get you registered for that. And then in the meantime, everybody we will be back here at 2.30. We'll see how the afternoon goes. Just always remember, don't trade the first five minutes. Let all this chaos and all the smoke clear and then we'll find out what goes on. And remember, a lot of these stocks that we find, we always find new ones. So go out there and just, you know, just, you know, if you see something, you say something. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading and be safe.